Let us learn how to create this beautiful yet simple custom animation in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. So let us jump right in and learn how to create this from scratch. The first step is to create the basic prototype. For that, let us go to shapes. From rectangles, let us pick up this one called as rectangle top corners rounded. Select that and then draw the shape like so. Now click on the yellow handle and move it to the left so we have full curvature of the two corners. We go to shape outline, no outline. Then go to shape fill and choose a color. In this case, aqua accent 5 darker 25%. Then I'm going to write my text here. Use a thicker font, increase the size, place it over here. And if you want, you can choose a contrasting font color, select both of them, press Ctrl G to create a group. Then let us create a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and then flip it vertically like so and place it right below this. We don't need this text here. So I'm going to remove that text box. Instead, I'm going to have an icon here. So let us go to insert icons and choose any icon you want. Let us choose something from apparel and I'm going to choose this button and say insert. This is only for demonstration purposes and I'm going to place this over here and you can see that with smart guide I was able to keep it right at the center. Go to graphics fill and use white color and select this and the shape that is holding it and press ctrl G to create a group. Now the next thing we need to do is to move it down to create space for us to write the text in the middle. So I'm going to hold the shift button down as I move this down. Now you can decide how much distance you want depending on how much text you want to write in the middle. Then go to shapes, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to fill the gap like this. Make sure that the width of this matches with the width of the rectangle. That's perfect. Let us not have any outline and you can choose a contrasting color here. Let me choose this dark gray color. Now let me write my text here. And let us select both of these elements and press Ctrl G to create a group. Now we've got the basic structure in place. The next step is to create the custom animation. I'm going to select this portion, right click, bring to front, hold shift button and then move this so it touches the top shape. So now we have this beautiful shape with the text and the corresponding icon. Now this needs to move from here to the bottom. So I'm going to select this, go to animations and choose a simple line animation. So motion paths lines and you can see the default direction is to down. So we don't really have to do much of a change there. Hold the shift button and you can see this red dot, click and drag it. So it touches the bottom corner, bottom edge of this black shape. Then let us select this black shape, choose wipe animation from top. And this needs to happen with previous. Let us go to animation pane. So we've got two of these animations happening. Naturally, the duration needs to be adjusted. But before that, let us go to the first one. Click on the drop down menu, go to effect options and make sure that the smooth end and smooth start are made to zero. Then say OK and let us have the duration to be one second. Then let us go to the second animation event and change this to one second. Now let us see what happens when I go to slideshow on a click. This is what happens. Beautiful, right? Now all I need to do is to make multiple copies of this and our slide would be ready. By pressing Ctrl D, I can place this right next to the previous one and then press Ctrl D again and again. Now if you want, you can change the colors of these boxes. You can select the specific icon and then right click and go to change graphic and choose from icons a different icon so you have something appropriate for the second text box and so on. When you do all that, you get this simple yet beautiful infographic. Now, when it comes to presenting a list, let me show you some creative variations. This one uses four pictures. On a click, you can see that I draw the viewer's attention to the first one like this, then to the second one, to the third one, and to the fourth one. This is a template taken from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. Let me show you a variation of a list of four items. Instead of just listing it down as one point after another, we are showing it as four surprise elements from a box. So on a click, the first one comes through like this, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Now, if you want this as a concept, then you can use something like this, like four tools in a solution. 
on a click we show the first two like this the second two like this the third one like this and fourth one like this can you see what you can do with powerpoint is limited only by your imagination and these are by the way templates that are readily available as part of our comprehensive all-in-one bundle in case you don't know what the product is it is a collection of more than 4500 such premium animated powerpoint templates that instantly make your presentations beautiful and engaging I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. Come to this page, watch this video to get a complete idea of what this product is all about. And if you feel that this is the right product for you, then please go ahead and make a purchase and you will definitely be able to impress your audience with your beautiful presentations. And if you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I put together called From Boring to Dazzling Bullet Point Animations in PowerPoint. I've given three simple yet creative list animations in this useful tutorial. So click on the link that you see right now on your screen and watch this video next. I'll see you inside that video.